An accused dump truck thief who led troopers on a wild chase into Baltimore County is now locked up and charged with dozens of crimes. State police say yesterday afternoon he plowed into another driver while trying to escape arrest. That driver died hours later. WJZ is live near the scene of the fatal crash in Cockeysville. Kimberly Eaton is updating the investigation for us. Kimberly? And Mary, you can see a few paint marks on the pavement and on the curb here behind us. About all that's left of what was a crime scene out here on Cranbrook Road. This is where yesterday a man driving a stolen dump truck hit and killed another driver. A deadly end to an illegal three and a half mile joyride. A shattered tail light and tire tracks. The only evidence left behind from a deadly joyride that ended on this Cockeysville Street Monday afternoon. And the dump truck was coming down the opposite direction, plowed into the side of the car and spun him around, and he, he ended up where he is now. Witnesses watched as a stolen dump truck barreled down Cranbrook Road, crossing the center line head on into another driver. Rescuers cut 58 year old Leon Jones out of this mangled Nissan, and state police used their helicopter to rush him to shock trauma. But say Jones died just hours later, the innocent victim of a wild and illegal three and a half mile joyride. He obviously immediately at the outset of this showed no, dis no regard for the safety of our troopers as he drove at them. We believe he was exhibiting that same disregard for the safety of others as he continued down that road. State police spokesperson Greg Shipley says just before two in the afternoon, 26 year old Zachary Hager walked out of a Baltimore City Walmart and into the truck that was parked outside, attempting to run over troopers as he took off down York Road, speeding through the center lane, and Shipley says blowing through at least one stop. Light. Then Hager crossed the county line, ignoring troopers behind him, sirens on as he hit Pedonia Road, then Cranbrook Road, and where the stolen dump truck became a deadly weapon. Hager is now locked up, facing more than two dozen traffic and criminal charges, including manslaughter. What motivated his fatal drive? Still a mystery. We you have to focus on who was responsible, not why they did what they did, because some of these things. Uh, you just can't explain. And state police say Hager initially gave them a fake name, so they ran his fingerprints to try to find out his real identity, and in the process learned that he does not have a driver's license. Reporting live in Baltimore County this afternoon, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. Hager is being held without bond right now in Baltimore County.